Now we're going to do a technique called wet scratch. So if you look at your techniques, we've got wet scratch and we've got dry scratch. This one's what happens when it's wet. And so I'm using a color now that is not just right off of the palette. I went ahead and I mixed this and because I wanted it, it's a little duller so a little less saturated than, than usual and um, I'm going to um, scrub some other color in there too and so we've got this shadowy area here now while it's still wet I'm going to scratch through it and so you can use your exacto knife and I don't cut through the paper you don't have to do much more than drag it but you're going to see it immediately starts making lines and what it's really doing here is it's making a groove and because this stuff is wet it's settling in there this is a really good technique for like tree branches or something so if you you put out a sky and there's trees in the distance they might not look that much different in color from the sky but they're darker that was with a, the exacto knife now I have a little perforating wheel here that's just for fun let's see what happens if I go through some of these areas and I get a little it's actually starting to dry out on me now I'm gonna lay out some more wet stuff doesn't take very long before you lose your edge on this okay you can see that's still running down in there in that crack and then you can see some of it over there so you could try anything you might try a comb alright and this is it works well for for lots of things you're trying to do here's an improvised tool it's a nail I love nail so you can see that can make a lot more articulated line so I use a, a nail a lot and as soon as it starts drying out you can't get any more out of it and yeah, but it's real handy and then all those colors are related they have to be it's in the nature of the thing okay so that's wet scratch